Dutch Oven Wars. I've been asked to enter this Dutch Oven Wars for my buddy uh, Calvin at Calvin's Corner 72. I'll drop a link down below so you can find out him. If you don't know him, I'm sure you probably already do. Uh, unless you've been living under a rock somewhere. Calvin asked me to uh, to enter into this. And uh, we're doing Southern Food Junkie Chili today. And we're doing it in our Dutch oven on our uh, stove top. So uh, hope you all like it. Hey guys, welcome back to Southern Food Junkie. Today we're going to share with you one of our recipes that we developed about 10 years ago. Uh, we've been using this for a while. This is Southern Food Junkie Chili. I made this as a, this is kind of like a chili sauce. It's a real thin, runny uh, meat sauce. And I like to use this for hot dogs. I'd love for y'all to try it out and see if y'all like it too. Uh, we're about to cook it up in our kitchen here. We'll see you in just a minute. some of the spices and the uh, vegetables that we're going to use. We're actually cooking this for um, a church function, so there's going to be a lot of people here, so we're actually making a good bit. The recipe is on my website. You can get this recipe on my website, and the recipe calls for one pound of meat, and we're actually going to be doubling this up, but I'm going to show you how I cook it. We're going to be cooking it in our Dutch oven here. What makes this chili unique is the way that we cook it. We don't brown it like we do in a uh, traditional frying pan, Dutch oven and whatnot, stock pot. What we do is we put the meat in there and then we add uh, water to it and then we'll cook that down and the water will uh, allow the meat to, to break up really thin. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up our onion and our garlic. I'm gonna actually mince my onion and my garlic real fine so you don't actually see it in the chili. Like I said, this is a chili sauce, so it's going to be real thin. So I want all the uh, ingredients to be uh, real fine. So I'm going to prepare the onion, and I'm going to throw it in my food processors. That's what we're about to do now. consistency won't want. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is we're going to throw it in our uh, Dutch oven with a little bit of oil. I'm going to actually use a, about two tablespoons of oil. I'm going to use probably bacon grease. You can use what you prefer. Olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, whichever one you want. Don't have to be a high heat oil because uh, like I said we're just going to put it on medium. And we're not trying to brown these onions or anything. We're just, we're just going to cook them just a little bit. Make sure you follow along on your recipe that you printed off from southernfoodjunkie.com. Break up the meat. We're going to get a wooden spoon, metal spoon, whatever you prefer. We're going to break that meat up. Then we'll add in our seasonings. See, once you mix it in with the water, it gets a really fine consistency, which is what we're wanting. You don't want to add too much water to it. 
you use a one pound of meat, I normally use a 16 ounce glass of water. Um, and like I said, in this recipe, I'm doing more. It's gonna look really gross, guys, for the first few minutes. Just give it time. Within about four or five minutes, it'll turn brown just like you like it. And, and it'll look just like chili, I promise you. Just give it time. Go ahead at this point, add in your seasonings, get it mixed up, and then uh, we'll let it simmer. And got this classic yellow mustard. Thanks to Triumph, Brandon at Triumph screen printing. Appreciate it, man. So we're gonna add in two tablespoons of uh, mustard here. Like I said, we're just doubling the recipe. The recipe calls for a half a cup of ketchup. We're actually gonna do more like three quarters of a cup. So we add tomato sauce and ketchup into this. The tomato, the ketchup will have a little bit of sugar in it, a little bit of vinegar in it, some spices that'll be a little bit different than the tomato sauce. As you can see here, it's browned up nice once we added in our, um, our spices and our mix, and you can see the nice consistency that we have, and that's what we're looking for. So all we're gonna do now is let this simmer down. Guys, we'll be back in a minute. I'll let you check in on this chili. I hope you enjoy this video. We'll show you the final results in a little bit. Like I said, make sure you check out our uh, website, southernfoodjunkie.com. You can get a printed out version of this recipe, and uh, you can use this video as some. Uh, this was just some tips and tricks along to use to uh, to show you how to make it. And we appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you leave us a thumbs up, and don't forget. Let's get food junk, guys. Here is the final product. I've transferred into our crock pot so we can pour it. And you can see it's got a nice fine texture to it. And it tastes wonderful. Make sure y'all give it a try.